I was once a promo girl. And then I was working with Ramesh, who is now my manager, who was my boss at the time. I was doing like covers and just doing ciphers, broadcasting them throughout my social media and being the fact that he was my boss at the time. He was in my contact list. And so he got my videos too. And then he pulled me aside one day and be like, yo, you got talent. I see something in you. We should definitely work together more than from boss to promo girl and more like a manager to artist. And I was like, you know, actually, I've been working with him for quite some time. And I was like, I love his energy. He treats people around him like family. You know, he's respectful. He gets w the work done. So I was like, mm, I have no doubts. And to be honest, he I didn't even know him as somebody who can manage anybody at all because he wasn't doing that. Mm -hmm. So it was literally just like a chance of me believing in him while he believes in me. That's good because I also feel like trust is important when it comes to management. Oh, sometimes sorry. you think you need like a huge manager no, to you take don't. you to the next level. But and other times it's good to have somebody that's focused just on you. Yeah. Yeah. A boutique management company, too, is like it's like really cool to know that, yo, when you get attention, that's when your career literally flourishes because you can be with the biggest people in the game and it's like you get no attention. So it's like nobody is focusing on you to take your career to the next level. So I rather to go for the underdogs, to be honest. That's me. So what was the plan for you guys initially when you're like, okay, he said he sees the potential in you. Mm -hmm. He knows that you could be a huge artist. So what did you guys sit down and say, okay, did you come up with a marketing plan? Like, what was the strategy? Marketing where? <laughs> Girl, we don't know nothing. We just go with the flow and just go with God. Because when I met him, when we started the journey, I recorded my first ever single in life with him. Like, that's the first song I've ever recorded, Jiggle Jiggle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and before that, I only wrote, like, three or four songs. Mm -hmm. So to show you, like, my career has moved so fast, but I kept up with it. Because I had to be writing day and night also to keep up with the pace of how fast it was going. So it was like, it was like a lot of pressure, but I pulled through and I'm happy that I'm here today. I endured it. And even up until now... It has molded me to just be, get used to working hard. So now it's like always still on the go. 